Assalamualaikum everybody. Um, as spring is uh, all around us, the beginning, all around us, it's the time for me to contemplate, especially uh, at the beginning of uh, Ramadan, and soon our Christian friends will be celebrating Easter, and our Jewish friends will be celebrating Passovers. Uh, spring for me is my favorite season. Um, there's so much blessings in it, and you see the power of God in springtime for me especially, where, I mean, I feel God all the time personally and see His power everywhere I go and always. Uh, but spring for me is just a beautiful rejuvenation, and you see for yourself how the, the dead earth and all the trees that are brown in the winter come in such a magnificent way back to life and all the I was walking around the garden and everything is starting to bud even though uh, there was a snow a few weeks a couple weeks ago or not even whatever and it was crazy weather but they survived somehow even when crocuses is one crocus is flying is a, a blooming I'm sorry um, blooming, <laughs> not flying. There was something else that was flying. I'm playing with my cat out here with her foil balls, so they're kind of flying when there's a little bit of wind. Um, but mainly, uh, Ramadan is a really a, a beautiful time to reflect uh, in or inwardly and outwardly, obviously, but mainly outwardly by giving charity, but inwardly by reflecting on one's self and one's blessings and how to improve ourselves uh, because we can always improve and nobody's perfect so it's a time for for all Muslims uh, to reflect on what they have what they what what characteristics in them they can improve so I'm one for example who's trying to improve always my listening skills and listening carefully and not jumping to respond quickly but letting the other person finish what they don't want to say and then think before I actually respond this is a personal uh, thing that I'm working on uh, everybody knows their their shortcomings and what they need to work on but that's just an example so what what can we each one of us do in this month to self-reflect and what can we improve and of course our relationship with the Quran is the main thing because the Ramadan is the month of the Quran and uh, on a personal note I feel personally the Quran has really saved my life as I'm always reading it and contemplating it and um, you know I love to take pictures of nature and I share a lot of the um, prayers that uh, or ayahs or verses within the Quran that kind of resonate with me and um, I put them on my website and I share them periodically on Facebook and Instagram but mainly um, Ramadan is a time to reconnect with the Quran and for each, one, uh, for each and every one of us to try to do what we can to understand it. Now there's so much information out there with so many great scholars who, who know how to explain it and there's ways for us to connect with it. And even on an individual basis by reading it and and then trying to dive a little bit deeper on each uh, ayah or verse could help us uh, co contemplate and understand it better. So I just wanted to come on and tell, you, tell everyone to um, remember to read the Quran. Uh, this is the month of the Quran, but this is something that we should continue doing throughout the year. Um, we don't stop in Ramadan. Um, and the beautiful thing about Ramadan is at night in all the mosques, there's uh, reciters that recite the Quran so beautifully and it's just so, so mesmerizing to listen to and captivating. But we shouldn't just at the end of Ramadan stop our own personal relationship with the Quran. It should continue. So each one of us have to has to figure out how to do that. Uh, maybe uh, you know sitting down every time 
at whatever time you have to to read extra extra pages of of the Quran on a regular basis. So everybody has to figure the, these things out for themselves. But I think the most important message is not to stop your relationship with reading the Quran throughout the whole year. And that goes for me. I I, uh, I started doing that, and it really has helped me a lot. So every Ramadan, I try to up the uh, number of pages per day that I that I do read. So spring is a is I I feel is a blessed time for everyone um, to celebrate all of our different uh, faith ho- holidays. Ramadan is not like a holiday, really. It's a holy month, um, so you won't find people going on vacation or anything like that. And Ramadan, at the end of Ramadan, when we celebrate Eid, yeah, many people might do that and then take a vacation afterwards. So it's a month of, of introspection, of self-reflection, a month of giving and and uh, feeling, you know, the, the, the poor, what they go through. So it's really important to think of others at this time, not of uh, ourselves. Uh, think of ourselves by self-improving, yes, but think of others that are um, that are much more needy than us. Especially the, when we think of all the the tragedies that have happened in the world and um, so many um, earthquakes in Turkey, Syria, have continued to bombard the people there. Um, uh, this is a time to really uh, to give without even thinking. There's just so many organizations trying to help, and and so much need in the world um, of people that are really in need. So we are uh, another thing that we all have to do in a continuous basis is to be so grateful, so grateful to God for all of the many blessings that we each and everyone do have. So many people don't realize like how many blessings they actually have. But if you sit and think about each one, such as the the gift of a breath, your breath. I just went through a little bit of a of a crisis with my breath and some issues, so I am in total um, filled of, with the gratitude at every breath that I take and promise to use it in good. So think about that when every time you breathe, what a blessing it is to be able to breathe. So many other blessings on an individual basis, if you look at it yourself, your eyes, your ears, your nose, all, everything, you're able to walk, your, your hands, everything is working in such a beautiful way. So if you sit down and write all these blessings down, uh, I mean, each and every little blessing, it will, I think you won't be able to, you'll be writing, you know, probably pages and pages and pages of all the beautiful blessings that God has given each one of us. So those are, uh, to be grateful for every single blessing is so important. Um, so don't forget to, to be grateful for everything that you have and not compare yourself to anyone else. And always ask Allah, I'll ask God for anything and everything that you need because he's the only one really who can, who's in control. I mean, think about it. You're not the one who's, um, I'm outside now. You're not the one who's making these trees bud and, and uh, you're not the one who brings the sun up and brings the sun down. You know, we are little... In, in comparison to this earth and the magnitude of of God's creation and his 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 enormous powers um, so contemplate on that and be grateful for everything that we have um, that goes for me like I said with some challenges with health I am so grateful to God and helping me and and to my doctors and everything else so I just wanted to share this uh, message of uh, spring blessings and that we have uh, so many blessings to be grateful for. And it is such a, a wonderful thing that all the holidays are are during the spring this year. Ramadan, you know, changes and moves 11 days before, the, earlier every month, every year. So next year it'll start 
this year it started on March 23rd, next year it'll start March 11th, and so on, so forth. So it's nice when uh, all the holidays kind of are together um, at one time. Um, thank you so much for listening, and um, if you feel like want to share this message to others, please feel free to do so. And have a blessed day, have a blessed spring, have blessed uh, holidays. Um, we say Ramadan Karim or Ramadan Mubarak, but blessed Ramadan is also fine. And blessed Easter to everybody and blessed uh, Passover to everyone. And have a wonderful, wonderful uh, day. The weather today is so beautiful that I'm able to sit outside with my cat and um, enjoy the lovely weather. Have a great, great day. Bye for now.